What's good, sports gamers? If you've been curious about the new aggressive skill dunk mechanic in NBA 2K22 and are shooting like Ben Simmons from three using it, or tried to do a flashy dunk on your opponent and you ended up like this, this video is for you. So today I'm going to go over the newest addition in NBA 2K22 and how to get the most out of it. So all right, let's get it. Okay, so one of the goals for 2K22 after the contact dunk fest that was next gen 2K21 was to add a bit more skill to dunking on 57 people this year. And that's where aggressive skill dunking came from. Which to do it replaces the flashy dunk controls where you would hold the right trigger on your controller and pull the right stick down while driving. And instead of trying to go between your legs while doing a 360, this is now tied to how well you can perform contact dunks over people. And to do it at a high rate like shooting, your job is to let the swinging meter go ideally inside the white tick. But in general, as close as you can to it. The better the dunker, like shooting, presumably would have more room for error in terms of how close you have to be, but don't quote me on that. And if your guy can't dunk, this isn't going to magically let him either. He will still perform a layup every time. So while holding the right trigger when you pull down on the right stick, you're given a circle with an R label, right stick. A green meter on the left of the circle you want to land in, and a white tick in the middle that you want to stop your meter in every time and the yellow meter that swings around from the top of the green all the way back around, where you can stop it by letting go of the right stick. So again, it's like shooting, but in dunk form. If you stop the meter early or late, you increase the likelihood of you missing the dunk. And if you stop it completely outside the meter, you will get a red strike over it, and then you're guaranteed to shank it. And it doesn't matter where you are on the court to start it up. It's right trigger and down, whether you're on the wing, at the top, or coming from the corner. And to help with your preparation for staring at the meter so it doesn't sneak up on you, when you start to dunk on the left side of the court, the meter will start on the left. And when you start on the right, the meter will start on the right. Now some things must be stated. This isn't a replacement for regular dunking as you're still going to want to keep that simple and hold right trigger and square if you're on PlayStation and right trigger and moving your right stick to the left, right or straight up to get a non meter dunk. Because trying to do this when you're wide open or something is unnecessary and you'll look crazy if you brick it. And also, you can start your animation no matter what, but the defenders can still alter your shot into a layup if they have an angle on you and make contact with you before your meter fully swings around. And the meter doesn't start to swing around until after you lift off the ground. So dunks with longer gathers may be beneficial as they won't appear to swing around the circle as fast and to give yourself time to prepare for the swinging meter. But let me know what you guys think of the new aggressive skill duck mechanic in the comments down below. Do you like it? Hate it? Let me know what's up. And if you like the content we provide, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K22 content. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.